Hi, it's me again with Corel with all tips and tricks. And somebody would like to have this club, like a playing card club, wrap around this, uh, whatever, so they're equally spaced. But they want it rounded at the bottom, and I'm going to show you. I've got my circle in the center of the page. I hit P. I'm going to take my club and hit the center of the page. And then I'm going to, it's already selected. I'm going to hold down the shift key and select both of them and go T. The club just happens to be two inches. So I'm going to set my nudge factor on two inches. I'm going to grab my club and I'm going to raise it up two inches. But they want this rounded. Very easily done. Now this is a font. It's Time New Romans. It's a symbol. We need to go to object and convert it to a curve. And when we do that, we can manipulate the, the uh, nodes. Now you could just move these two down. Now you see we have an edge. You could double click and play around with this and get rid of that edge. But if you will select all of it and hit right here, the trim, that got rid of that edge. And now it's got a curve. Now we're actually going to double click on it and move the center rotation of the center. Now I'm going to open, you could control D of that around, but it's, uh, we need to, well, we need to figure out what degree. So I'm going to make a duplicate of that and I'm going to start rotating it till it almost touches. So we got 12, 12 might not be enough. Yep. And now that we've already done that, you could control D all the way around and they're going to be equal. Somehow it wasn't in the center of the page. Um, that's why I like to bring in indexing lines. Hit P, P, double click. It looks like it is. Let's see what happens. It is. Let's rotate it 12 degrees. Control D, let's go back to zero. And then just control D all the way around. And it worked that time. I must have just messed something up. Oh, look, they got the heart and the diamond also. So that is equally spaced out because 12 would divide into 360. And then there's a lot you could do with this. You could actually make this a thicker line. And you could make it black. Well, we don't have to do that. Let's try this. Let's see if this is something they might want to do. Go to object and convert the outline to an object. Let's left click, right click. Left click, right click, and have an outline. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's give everything no feel. So, so we have an outline. Let's see if this won't weld. Look at that. And then they can take their smart fill tool because it's all welded. And it will look like a, a continuous. And you could make that line even thicker. Or you could have gotten rid of those nodes to begin with. Let's just do that real quick. Well... I'd have to back up quite a bit. Well, let's just, you know, if you're bored with the video, just quit watching. Um, and whenever you get to this scenario, you could just delete and delete and delete and delete. So what we could do at first is take this line and make it that 16 points. Well, you know what? Let's make it even thicker. Let's make it 25 points. And then let's convert it to an object. Let's left click, right click. Let's go ahead and take away the feel on this. Left click, right click. And if they wanted that node to be perfectly on top of that, they could just move that node down. That'll work. Now, We've still got the rotation, so control D, 
rotate it at 12 degrees, control D all the way around, and then weld it. And now you have a content, well, I must not have selected that, but it doesn't matter. You can take the virtual sigma delete key and delete these lines. See how the uh, indexing line is stopping it from filling in. Get rid of our indexing lines. Take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And now I would move it away and that's our smart fill. And then this way, the uh, clubs are just riding on that. That might be what they're wanting. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.